Hey Sagittarius, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is one of your July readings. Um, I'm just going to start putting the month on all of the readings rather than specific dates. I feel like that is easier. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it makes more sense, you know. So mainly reading for the current energy. We are going to start off with a yes or no question for the month of July. I want you to keep in mind that it's just for the month of July. It's not a permanent answer to your question, okay. If you need to pause the video to think of what that question might be, go ahead and do that, okay. We are going to swing this Sagittarius for July. Okay, we are getting a yes. I'm going to pull it off here and show you if it'll focus. Yeah, we got a yes there. It's in and out of focus. So um, I also have some dominoes out here for you guys, but I wanted to talk about something else for a second. I'm getting some payments for um, personal readings still. Uh, I guess people are seeing the descriptions from uh, the readings before the uh, before the month of June was up. I'm not doing personals anymore. I ended that deal. Um, I ended that in the end of June. So um, yeah, that is over at this time. I'm not doing those at this time. You're more than welcome to check me out on Patreon. I post additional content over there for each sign. So uh, the link for that is down below if you're interested in learning the tarot. I also have a course you can purchase. Information on that is down below. And um, yeah, you can follow me on TikTok as well. Uh, I read over there too. So the link for that is down there as well. Um, I'm going to be posting my Instagram link again as soon as I start reading over there and get that back up. Um, but yeah, that is on hold for now. You start off with the 6-3 uh, tile. Now, this can be a tile that represents travel. It also represents happy holidays. I'm not sure if there is an anniversary or someone's birthday coming up here, but it can represent happy holidays, travel, or a journey that brings a gift, okay? For a small portion of you, someone could be moving away, all right? But it typically represents something positive. You have the 5-1 uh, tile here as well. This can talk about a new friend or a new love interest. So some of you have a new friend or a new love interest entering in the month of July. Next, you have the uh, three one tile okay so this is some surprising news coming towards you when the three one tile shows up but it is useful news okay if you are having issues um, you know, I feel like it may be best to keep those away from others at this time. Like, I feel like outsiders could be causing issues or making them bigger, okay? So that's something that you want to uh, keep in mind here and watch out for. Um, making sure you're... Uh, you know, not ta not taking on too many opinions, basically, in the month of July in regards to what you should do. All right? I feel like people have their own motives with the advice that they're giving you in the month of July. It's weird. The sun, happiness, high vibrations, joy, new beginnings, enlightenment, exposure. What's going on here? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Pisces energy. Somebody could have Mars in Leo. Four of Wands, Venus and Aries, something going on with the home or with the family. That Knight of Cups could be a new lover here for some of you. We're going to be looking at all this in a second. You have the star. Okay, good. Yeah, so, you know, the sun, the star. Obviously, something important is going on here. Um with these two three majors showing up you have justice showing up libra energy and the nine of wands moon and sagittarius so we have a fire dominated reading here four fire cards including the sun because it's leo energy uh so i feel like something starts to move very quickly or you start to move very quickly excuse me like something with the star showing up and the sun showing up something new begins and i feel like it's very sudden this could also be a realization you know this could just be a realization that you're having here and you start to move a lot quicker because that's mainly what it feels like to me with the knight of cups showing up here it's like you feel inspired to move on something here or to just move in general um we're gonna look at the sun first what's going on with the sun the chariot surprise movement yeah um i definitely feel like that's confirmation here for you guys um moving towards something new what is it Ace of Swords. Some of you, you need to fill out an application. There's an application or something of that nature that you've been putting off or paperwork that you have been procrastinating when it comes to like sending that out. So that's something that needs to be done here. Absolutely. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's something here that you see, like you realize that you're deserving of more in a situation. So I feel like that's what you're moving towards. Some of you, it's like, uh, you could be wanting to go to school, right? Maybe you're like, wow, this is just not paying me enough. Um, you know, I need to go after uh, my dream job here, right? And maybe that requires you to get a slip of paper that's really expensive, right? So I feel like that's something that you're going to be working on here for some of you. For others of you, this is a home. You're like, I'm not happy where I am. I'm not happy where I am. I need a space that I feel at peace in. So some of you, you are working towards that in the month of July. But I feel like out of nowhere, you know, with this Ace of Swords energy, you get this clarity. Or some of you, you get this news. Like, 
like if you were procrastinating an application or something of that nature and you did send it out. This could be saying that you're getting that news, uh, that you were accepted for something. Let's look at the Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, very domestic queen. Like she is very home and family oriented, right? And again, I feel like you were moving very slowly with something. Um, you know, I don't know if I already said that or not, but the Knight of Cups, if you look at his um, hoof there, like he's afraid to step in the water, right? So there's something that you've wanted here for a while, but it's been like, maybe you weren't afraid. Maybe you just felt like I don't have the time or I don't have the energy or I don't have the money, whatever the case may be here. I feel like there were a lot of reasons. Um, some of you valid, some of you just excuses um, to not head towards something. And now you're realizing that you want it badly enough. You need it badly enough to move towards it, okay? But some of you, you moved awfully slow uh, up until this point here. So I don't know what type of clarity comes in, but something important in your life takes a big turn. Yeah, you have the high priestess here. A lot of you, it's in regards to like the way that you're seeing things, the way that you maybe saw what you are deserving of, you know, say for example, maybe you grew up without a lot. So you got just a little bit more and you're like, that's enough. You know, that's enough for me, right? But maybe you're finally realizing that just because I had just a little bit more doesn't mean that that's all I am deserving of. Maybe I want more than what I have, right? And that's okay. It's okay to want to improve. It's okay to like nice things too. If you like nice things, Sagittarius, that's all right. Two of Swords, Moon in Libra. Yeah, I think that a lot of you, you have shut that part of yourself off for a while. You know, it's like you don't have to have everything. Like, that's not the energy I feel you in. But it's like you're tired of denying yourself the things that you actually deserve. You're tired of feeling like you're asking for too much or you just, you know, I feel like maybe you have been made to feel as if you're spoiled or as if you are ungrateful or as if you... You know, all, the, all these different types of things that people throw at you when you just want more for yourself. You want better for yourself. Um, so, you know, I feel as if there's a certain part of you that you buried and just the bare minimum has been enough for a long time. So you've been hesitant to move towards certain things. Some of you people have put you in a space of fear when it comes to moving towards certain things because, well, you don't know what's behind that door. Well, you don't know how much that's going to cost you. Well, you don't know anyone who's gone down that path. You don't know how that goes, right? Um, but yeah, you, you don't have to have all that information, <laughs> you know, that's what held these people back, you know, you have the seven of wands here. Let's look at that. Ten of wands, you start putting in a lot of work. You realize there's a lot of work to be done here. Some of you, you're going to block someone here. Um, like I feel like you have been carrying this weight of this person here, of this Libra, of this Leo, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, some of you, it's a water sign. You have the uh, king of wands here as well. But it's like you you are fixated on something here, Sagittarius. It's like tunnel vision. <laughs> You're like, that's what I want. And I've, I've waited too long. I've waited too long. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. I'm done carrying other things on my back that just aren't mine. Let me just take all this off here. Nine of Pentacles. And that's exactly what you're doing. Some of you, I see you moving towards a new home here. Some of you, maybe you've been afraid to move out of state, you know, or move away from your parents, you know, or something of that nature here. But it's like you finally decide to take that leap. Um, yeah, and that's that's what you're doing here for a lot of you, truly. It's like there's something that you put off for too long because of other people, and you're not going to do that any longer. You have the Four of Wands here, Venus in Aries. Some of you could have Venus in Virgo as well. Um, but you're tired of denying yourself nice things or the things that you want. And you're tired of, you know, having to give people reasons. You never did. You never did have to, right? But I feel like, you know, people want reasons for why you do things and why you want things. And it's like, I, I don't need to give you a reason, you know? Like, I feel like people want answers from you that they, you know, they're not entitled to. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Something's moving in slowly about a house or about a commitment, okay? What's going on with this? justice okay a contract of some sort um, or a final decision four of pentacles yeah something is yours something is yours in the month of july okay i've got capricorn energy here and it moves slow for a long time like this is long overdue whatever this is but it is something to celebrate all right it is something to celebrate some of you you're getting out of a toxic connection and people are like thank god you're finally doing that you have the star here um what else is happening with this 
But yeah, it's something big in your life here. You know, it's some kind of dream that I feel you have buried or some kind of desire that you have buried. Some of you, even in connections, you're like, well, maybe I'm just being unrealistic. Well, maybe I'm just asking for too much. And it's like, no, they're giving you the bare minimum. So yeah, absolutely not Sagittarius. Don't trick yourself out of the things that you want, out of the things that are meant for you, okay? The sun, exactly. Happiness, high vibrations, joy, new beginnings. Page of Cups. Some of you, you're going to end up with a water sign here. More specifically, a Pisces for some. Okay. What else do we have here? But I mainly feel as if this is this childlike energy of believing in yourself again. You know, it's this innocence. You even have a baby on the sun card riding the horse there. Um, you know, and it's, it's this innocence of starting fresh, basically. And there aren't any limits. So I like that. Like all paths are exposed to you. Ace of Cups, exactly. Ace of Cups. And cleansing yourself. Like I said, you know, there's something that you're going you're gonna to be healing from. Uh, so of course you're going to take time to do that. But I still feel as if you're moving faster than ever towards a specific goal of yours. Let's look at this Nine of Wands energy because I'm curious. I'm curious. What's going on with that Nine of Wands? Empress, some of you are curious as to how someone's going to respond here. More specifically, a mother. Nine of Swords. There's a little bit of a bitter energy, um, a little bit of guilt tripping going on here for someone. Some of you, this is a past partner. Like, there's somebody who's looking at you like, I can't believe that you just chose yourself. Like, <laughs> some of you, that's going on. But three of wands, oh well, oh well, you know. I feel like this person, they'll get over it quickly. And I don't think you're disconnected from them forever. I mean, unless you want to be. But I feel as if there's someone who is not okay with your choices, but they do come around to it. They do, they'll come around to it, okay. You have the king of pentacles right here. They'll get comfortable with it, all right. Um, and I also feel as if it sets a really good example for them, too. That, like, you can accomplish things. Things. Like things don't always have to go the same way for everyone. What's going on here for Sagittarius? Pull and Kipper now, and they can bring out some specific messages. So I'm just warning you ahead of time. Poverty reversed. <laughs> Someone here could be 37. You have Journey showing up as well. The number 10 could be significant to you. And you have courtship showing up here. Yeah. Some of you, you're going to end up in a new connection. Possibly not in July unless this has already played out for you, okay? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> my phone vibrated. That scared the crap out of me because it's one in the morning. <laughs> um, it's a TikTok notification. I forgot to turn my phone on silent. Anyway, you have a message card showing up here, pathway and expectation. Yeah, expect a message here. Expect a new person to enter your life and change your journey completely within the month of uh, July, okay? Now, you may not be dating this person just yet. You may not be in a connection with them just yet, but I feel like that's going to happen at some point down the road, okay? Four to seven months, okay? Four to seven months, um, that's gonna happen. But somebody's coming in who's going to change your journey completely, change your perspective completely, you know, remind you of what it is that you deserve here, okay? And they're going to, I don't want to give them all the credit here because for some of you, I feel like it is this realization hitting you out of nowhere <laughs> with the strength card showing up that you have to have the courage to move towards what's meant for you or you're going to resent everyone that, you know, stood in your way of that, that you allowed to stand in your way of that, okay? So, yeah, I mainly feel as if that's what's happening here. Uh, but poverty in the reverse position, toil and labor showing up. I feel like that's something you're trying to get away from here. Um, like a, a major grind. Some of you work in multiple jobs. You have house here as well. Some of you, you're trying to get your own house here or get your own place. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm seeing here for you. I'm going to pull some of these cards as well. Before Kipper gets too much up in your business. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. Leo energy, okay, yeah. Putting the attention on yourself, okay? And we had the sun show up twice, okay? And the sun is a Leo card, for those of you who don't know. And Leo, like the zodiacs, like they rule the heart and the spine. So this is about courage, backbone, to go after what it is that you want here. Uh, Cancerian energy showing up as well. Um, a lot of you guys, like I said, this is centered around the home, okay? Um, it's centered around your values, like the things that you find stability in, basically. Um, so even if it's like you leaving a certain job, I feel as if that is centered around your home, centered around your stability, like what it is that you can do with what you have. Yeah, you have Saturn. You're really buckling down here. You're really buckling down on yourself here. Like, how do I explain that? It's like you're doing something hard so life can be a little bit easier versus doing everything the easy way so life can be hard, you know? I, I don't know how else to explain that. 
Um, I don't know how else to explain that, but Aquarian energy showing up here. You're absolutely inventing something new. Like I said, some of you are going to end up with the Pisces, but I mainly feel this Pisces and Cancerian energy is you entering this emotional state of being of just like loving on yourself, you know, and it's tough love. It's like, I have to do this. You have to do this self. Like this is what we deserve, right? We deserve to expand, right? With Jupiter showing up, we deserve to take action. Like we deserve to seize all these opportunities in front of us. And I feel like it's really putting you in your head until you start to move towards it. Okay. Until you start to move towards these dreams and these desires. I feel like it is a very sudden shift in your focus. Okay. A very sudden shift in your energy. And some of you, like I said, that's stemming from a person who is going to be um, entering your life here in the month of July. But something big takes an unexpected turn here, basically. And I feel that it's not something that exists in a vacuum. It's going to affect multiple areas of your life. So job, home, uh, relationship, you know, something like that here, family. Yeah, and some of you, you're going to be moving, uh, not just moving, but moving kind of far, okay? So that's something else that I'm uh, feeling here for you guys. But I feel like you're getting moving really quickly because it's something that you feel you should have started a long time ago, Sagittarius. But that's what I'm seeing here for you, okay? It's never too late. It's never too late. Um, I do hope it was helpful. I want to thank you all so much for allowing us to help guide you on this journey. And don't forget that you can follow me on Patreon and TikTok. And if you're interested in learning the tarot, I do have information on the course down below. But if this is where we part. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.